All right, guys. Today I'm gonna be installing this battery cutoff switch for our RV. Um, pretty simple. All I did was drill a hole here so that it fits in perfectly from the bottom up, like so. All you need is this one-inch drill bit. It costs about six dollars. I bought this one at uh, AutoZone, and I have some extra drill bits here bottom so that I can drill these four into the cap to secure it on there so it doesn't sink down which which it won't because I already have it with the battery and it fits uh, right snug perfectly snug uh, flush on top of the battery so that's what it's gonna look I'll probably put a little bit of silicone around so that when I do put it in it'll be a uh, weatherproof which it really wouldn't matter I mean there's already vents up here on top and and stuff like that but I'll show you the outcome here shortly all right guys this is the uh, the f almost finished product here's the battery cutoff I put the four screws I'm gonna show you what it looks like underneath I went ahead and used just a uh, butterfly ends there for the bolts and I'm about to put it on top of the uh, battery cover and start connecting the batteries all right these are the uh, connectors all hooked up to the one of the batteries these are the negative side that's the way I do it just the uh, before I had this cutoff switch I would just disconnect it from the negative side and just leave it hanging not touching anything just in case so it, wouldn't drain my battery all right guys this is it all connected ready to go this is the key this is the one I was talking about also has that weather protector on top so when you put it on turn it and the power goes on you can leave it hooked on and you don't have to worry about water or rain uh, you see the light the light is off on my travel trailer I will come and connect this let me just take off this plastic guard And all you gotta do is put this on and turn it. And the light is now on. It's very good, easy setup. Um, costs about $16 on Amazon. It's just called the battery disconnect. Huh? And whenever you're done, you just um, turn it, pull it. Let that hang, and it's tied up through over here, so I have no trouble. And then you just put this cap back on, and the light is now off. 